This is a short tutorial on adding patients to the EHR. From the home page, you can either click on Patients or click on the Go menu and choose the patients from there. Once there, you will click on Add New Patient. You must assign a user ID and password for every patient. This allows the patient access to the patient portal. You can make these whatever you would like as long as they are six characters in length. The information on this page will not only be used for your information, but also is where the claims will pull patient information from. There are certain sections that must be filled out for a claim to populate correctly. Patient first and last name, date of birth, gender, and address. Putting an email address in will allow you to do a couple of different tasks. One, you will be able to send appointment reminders 24 hours in advance when using the EHR scheduler. Two, you will be able to send a mass email to clients to notify them when updated statements are put in the patient portal. If the client does not want to receive email notifications, simply click the email notification status and change it to off or opt out. Fill out any additional information that you would like and click Save. The client file has now been created. Anything in the green bar at the top is the patient's information. You can now add the insurance information for the patient by clicking on the Insurance, then Coverage Wizard. Click on Add New Coverage Payer. Choose the payer from the drop-down list. You will then select the patient relationship to subscriber. If the patient is a subscriber, the subscriber member ID box will pop up to be populated. If the patient is a dependent of any kind, you will need to put in the subscriber ID, the dependent ID even if it's the same, the subscriber first and last name. That is all you will need to file an electronic claim. If for any reason you might need to drop a claim to paper for the client, such as for a secondary claim or a corrected claim, you will also need the subscriber date of birth and gender. You can now add eligibility and benefit verification information. This is not required, but is important information. This is where you can populate deductible and copay information. This is also where you will mark if an authorization or referral information is required. Simply check mark the box. If the insurance cancels, you can also put the termination date on this page as to prevent a claim from being sent after the insurance is no longer valid. After you have put in all the information, click Save. The information will then show on the insurance screen.